we will now continue on with the advanced drill down bar chart and this is part 12 so I assume you have everything already done what we want to do here and I previously said that we're going to use the click function but I would say what would make far more sense is first to have the hover effect luckily the hover effect is not that complicated so we're going to do this all together in here so what we need to go is here in the options and in the options charges has built in functionality it's called on hover and the on hover is basically the option we can use that when we hover over certain elements at that moment if we can trigger something so we do it here on hover and then here we can just specify the parameters i will call this event comma and then here we have the chart element which would be basically the bar charts that we hover over however this event here is basically the canvas itself where we hover on top of meaning the hover event of the canvas all right so we have this here i want to make sure that we have everything correct as you can see we get this error because we are forgetting our arrow function expression all right so once we have that one make sure you have a comma here so as i said the event is where exactly it is on the canvas and the event itself is the hoover or not even the hoover but the mouse the move event where we hoover over certain elements of course how does being calculated well i have a whole topic about mouse move that you can check as well put it all in the comment section below anyway so what we're going to do here is the following we're going to say here well let's do console log first so you have an understanding what are we going to do here or what is the event here so if i save this now and refresh and then here you can see here what is happening when we hover over it we are here and grabbing all the information we need but we are also on top of the chart itself so this already shows something but what we need here is not only the event we need to be more specific so if we scroll down here or we go in here we go into native we can see here the mouse event so basically we are on the chart but also on the mouse event it understand it's a mouse event here and then we go here to target if we scroll down here somewhere to target you can see here which is the canvas the specific canvas id which is my chart and then in here we can start to say what we want in this case we want to say your style for css so we're going to go into the css section indirectly here uh, let's click on this triple dot so we will see more information you can see here the style and then here what we could do here specifically is convert the cursor we need to be letter c cursor and see you there you are to a specific item in this case when we are hovering over a specific chart element which is the bar at that moment we want to say cursor convert into a uh, pointer so that's what we're going to do here so we say event and in this event here uh, let's see here we have this event or we can say event dot native and then we had here a uh, target remember that we get and then we get here the style dot cursor cursor and we say this will be now equal to pointer and then once we did this what we have to do here as well let's if i save this right now let's see what happens so you can see it right now it's just uh, triggering everything of course I don't want this what I really want to do here is an if statement and the if statement would say here the following well I realize that maybe I need to before I even show you the if statement just explain what this is so we get this chart element here because we have this event here let's put in here and then we say here zero well basically here an array one or and there should be an array value in there so if I save this right now or we can just even do the chart element if i save this look at this but look at here and i hover over you can see here right now it's blank length equals zero however if i refresh again then if i go on here you can see now we have information we get length we get some extra data that we have and this data is for us important or more specifically if we see something so that's why i'm going to say here this index length equals one all right so meaning that we have an array index of zero so that's why I want to grab this. So if I only do this, save this, refresh, you can see it's undefined and then here it hits it and then there you are. So it will always understand the moment we are on it and then we can start to convert our cursor correctly. So what you're going to do here, very simple if statement, but this if statement will be a one line. 
And this one-liner uh, is basically quite, well, it's easier to write, but might be complicated because it's basically an if statement in a very short written way. All right, so what we're going to say here is the following. We're going to say here if this cursor say equals to chart element array or with index zero, so there's an item in there. If that is the case, if this is true, then what I want to show is a pointer on the cursor. And if that is not the case, so it's basically false, colon, make sure you use colon, then I will say, show me the default value. So once I did this, semicolon column here, you can remove this, save that, refresh, and now you can see here where you hover over it, and then if you hover here, but you can see here, our cursor changes consistently. So that is basically what we have now that's working. What I want to do now next is to click on it. So that will be in the next video. We're going to focus on the clicking part of